Anyway, uh, Camel McGugan and the uh, Lanarkshire uh, Police Pipe Band um, they're doing quite well, that band, and they had Sinclair Chanters that Campbell had got. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hugh McInnes, I don't know if you remember Huey. Yeah, I know, I knew Hugh very, very well. I, uh, yeah, I, I would watch him right. when he was playing, closely watch him. He was the, a very, very much a stickler for exactitude and his fingering and everything else. Yeah, yeah. He was he was the first guy I studied right. watching him every every time he played. Uh, he, his style, the style that I adopted, uh, was Ian Morrison. It was right. originally it was Ian Morrison, and then right. Pipe Sergeant Ian Morris, and then Pipe Major Ian Morrison, okay. and that's when the piping the, the the piping was going from like the jigs going from the hippity hoppity sound to the straight. That that was the time when all that changed, um, and uh, I, I went for the straight way. I, the straight way I find is a, a, a slightly more musical anyway, and, and it's, I think it uh, lends much more flow to the whole tune, really. Well, you can move it, move it around yeah. to, to, to make it sort of hip hoppy, but not, not as it was as these, these people would talk. See, I was taught way back in the 60s, uh, the 50s and 60s, and it was all heavily pointing. It uh, didn't yeah. matter what you were uh, playing. Everything yeah. across all the time signatures was heavily, very heavily pointed, including yeah. your jigs and your horn pipes as well. Yeah. Uh, aye, aye it's, it's amazing that. But Hugh, eh, he was the first guy that told me that when he was practicing for competitions, he'd play a march six times. And mm -hmm. we got to the fourth time, made an error. That was the first performance to play uh, six times without a uh, uh, blemish free, free sort of thing, and then do the same with the suspes and the reels. Yeah. Aye. Did you ever adopt anything like that yourself, John? Yeah. Yeah. It, it, Hugh used to walk around, uh, it was a traffic warden, and he had his practice chanter in, in his pocket. Uh -huh. And he'd hide in doorways and he would play. So if ever you drove around, uh, I can't think of the, the name of the place, Mil Milgai maybe. Aye. If ever you drove around, you'd, you'd see him hidden in the corner playing away. <laughs> oh, and he made marvellous pipe chanter reads as well at one point. He, he, uh, he, he perfected it and the yeah. night he perfected it, he was phoning Campbell and he was leaving a message, and he took a heart attack on the phone, uh -huh. and that's and that's when he passed away. And he's, he was telling Campbell, "I've finally got the perfect read here. I know exactly what I'm doing. It's absolutely great." And then collapsed and died. Amazing. And uh, yeah. I, I know that uh, these tools lay about for a long, long uh, while yeah. because somebody was looking for a lot of money for them, but uh, I don't. 